Hi, I'm a dog in South Korea, and today I'm going to give you a peek inside my life. For most who enter this world, the first day on planet Earth is a happy one, filled with love and celebration, and for the really lucky ones, a warm blanket, a family, and a home. But for me, that day was far from joyful. My life started inside of a freezing cold wire cage on a dog farm in South Korea, where dogs are bred and raised for meat. The cage was covered in poo that was so old it had built up in hard piles around the cage, and it smelled horrible. My mom was too weak, cold, and sick to take care of me well. My siblings and I would desperately try to drink her milk, but she had little to give. One day, mom stopped moving altogether. I nudged her again and again, trying to get her to respond, but she didn't. Day after day, she became less like mom and more like the grub that was collecting in the cage. This is where I grew up. About once a day, a man came to feed us, but our food came straight out of the garbage can. There are things in there that I didn't want to eat. Sometimes we were fed sick chickens who were still alive, dead pigs, or even our own friends, other dogs. This was my life, day in and day out, through the blazing hot sun, the wet rain, and the icy snow. The wire cage didn't protect me from the elements at all, and of course I didn't get a blanket to keep warm. After growing up in these awful cages for a full year, never experiencing the outdoors or what it's like to run or even to be clean, a man pulled me out of my cage and violently crammed me into an even smaller transport crate with like 12 other dogs. All of our bodies were contorted and I could barely breathe. There was howling and barking all around me and I was in such terrible pain. Then they started shoving this pipe into our cage to try and make more room for more dogs. The dog next to me let out a huge scream as he was jabbed by the pipe and he started to bleed. Then they grabbed our cage and they threw it onto the truck like a crate of potatoes and we landed on top of countless other cages stuffed with dogs. We were all completely immobile and without any idea why or what would happen next. Hour after hour ticked by as we bumped along in the car without food or water. Twenty hours later, we were still in this cage. I could feel some of the dogs going limp around me, unable to cling to life any longer. Finally, the truck pulled to a stop. Someone grabbed the crate I was in and kicked it off the truck, and we went crashing to the ground. Many of the paws and the tails that were sticking out of the cage were crushed and broken. Within moments, more cages packed with dogs crashed down on top of us until the truck was totally empty. Then I watched from inside my cage as the men grabbed dogs and hung them up, beat them, and killed them. I closed my eyes as I saw my brother hung up and beaten with a pipe. I wanted to help him, but I could barely even move. Then one of the men came toward me. Terrified, I felt metal prongs close around my throat. I was torn out of the cage and dragged by my exhausted body against the gravel. He hit my head with a pipe and threw me onto the table. I tried to get away, but the man held my face down so hard as he came toward me with a knife. <laughs> This is what 5 million dogs go through every year in South Korea, just for the sake of meat. Many of the dogs come from farms like this, but others are strays taken off the streets, or family pets that were bought or stolen. They're killed in all sorts of barbaric ways, from hanging, to beating, to throat slicing, to electrocution. Some dogs are slaughtered on farms, while others are killed at slaughterhouses, dog meat restaurants, or even people's backyards. Every 13 seconds, a dog is slaughtered for human consumption. We don't have to allow this cruelty in our culture, and dog meat certainly isn't healthy for our bodies. We can thrive on a plant-based diet, which is healthy, humane, and eco-friendly. So for all of the dogs who have feelings and want to live life every bit as much as you and me, please say no to meat and choose compassion. For them, for us, and for our planet.